Okay. Hi, people. So, I'm here to let you know about another struggle that I had, which is even, like, playing into my situation right now. Um, once I was diagnosed, y'all, with cancer, my sleep has not been the same. Um, first... Again, I struggle with insomnia. If you knew me before cancer, then you would know, like, I used to be able to fall asleep like that. Like, even, like, 9 o'clock, all my college friends would tell you, like, I could not hang. If there was a night where I was, like, up, um, it was a thing. Like, I feel like, because, like, I do not... As the years went on in college, I guess I, it got later and later. However, like, my body shuts down. My voice shuts down after 9. Well, at 9 and going on. Like, literally, it's just a wrap. So, um, this insomnia thing and not being able to sleep is very odd to me. So, I'm going to share some things that I have done. Um, also, if you struggle, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe so that you know when things are coming out and make sure you press the bell so that you can get updates immediately when I, you know, post a video. Um, because I've been gone on y'all for a minute. So I want y'all to know every time that this thing goes through and the upload works, I want y'all to be the first to know. So make sure you click the notification bell and subscribe. Um, but no pressure, like for real. So, um... I have this little list or little notes so I can make sure I tell y'all everything because like number one I don't sleep right so there's a number of things that contribute to that there could be things like Netflix and Hulu right now I am in the middle of well before cancer if I didn't sleep and I didn't have good like sleep hygiene it was like I'm on the phone with somebody for hours or like literal hours um, or I'm watching Netflix Hulu or YouTube or I'm on a dating app wasting time or I'm on Instagram or Facebook or you know and all of that blue light from these devices um, don't help with the chemical reactions of like setting off melatonin and triggering your brain for sleep it kind of tells your brain like stay up all right we ready um, the other thing I've been struggling with, and this has been more of an issue since working and the stress of teaching. Um, if y'all didn't know, I am a teacher. Well, y'all did know because I did have a video about how I technically almost like kind of lost my job. But um, teaching is so incredibly stressful. And I have, you carry the weight of your students, your previous students, and the work and the weight of the work and the job that um, you're tasked with, like at least I'm a teacher who carries that, um, whether I want to or not. And that oftentimes when coupled with things going on at work has been the source of anxiety for me. Um, yeah, and for a long time it was un, I didn't realize what it was, um, but I figured out later it's anxiety right so there's that then now after cancer hot flashes keep me up all night and then from the hot flashes once you have the flash it quickly goes and you're like sweating it quickly tw switches to like a cold sweat or like a night cold sweat whatever you call them um because you just sweat like crazy and now you're freezing um because your body finally comes back to the regular temperature of the rest of the house but you're just like oh gosh and i'm wet now you know it's just like crazy so not sleeping because of that um also not sleeping because i'm like just straight up not tired for whatever reason which often is the anxiety um that just has me like i have to plan I have to do DOIs. I have to do something else. I need to make sure. Like, just stuff, right? Um, also, not sleeping because I'm in pain. Y'all know from radiation left me, like, scarred, y'all. Scarred. Um, but this side has some issues, okay? Issues. And oftentimes, it's in pain or I'm just very uncomfortable and can't get comfortable in my bed 
So that's the other thing. So it's between pain and then just flat out discomfort um, because of the capsular contracture and fibrosis on the left side that was radiated. It makes it very uncomfortable to find a comfortable position to sleep in. Um, and then on top of that, because like I said, I'm a teacher and I'm an elementary school teacher, so I cannot leave my kid. I can't use the restroom on my own terms for real during the day. I have to like time it out but it's also hard to stay hydrated um especially when i'm taking all this medication and just water is like good for your life right but um i've been trying to stay hydrated but the trick that i've been doing is like sipping throughout the day but when i get home going in but then that causes me to have to use the restroom through the night whereas a regular person with a regular job who was able to use the restroom on their own terms would be doing that throughout the day i am not right because of this darn job or the profession that i chose well it's the particular discipline with elementary because somebody has to supervise the kids that's another video for another day which i think i will because i'm pretty sure i'm leaving education because i just can't rock with what's going on in the system like I didn't survive cancer to come be a slave to a system who is really not doing justice like I, I can't all right whole nother can of worms um so so here are some things that I have tried because these are all the issues related to sleep and one affects the other and all that so <clears throat> I have been a melatonin fiend um or well first i like to take a hot bath at night um because that does calm me down lavender apparently is supposed to help i don't like the way lavender smells but i keep giving it a try um i can't say if it helps or doesn't help because i'm just hung up on like how is this supposed to be relaxing for people i just don't get it but um i've tried it um uh, but the hot bath just kind of lulls me so <laughs> to sleep so that's um been something that's helped but it doesn't help keep me asleep so there's that then melatonin and i have tried dissolvable melatonin like the ones that you just put in your mouth and dissolve quickly um i'm currently taking gummy bear melatonin and this is not sponsored it, i wish it was because this was not cheap okay um the amount of money that i've spent at cvs through the years this is the one that i'm currently taking i'm not a fan of this right now because the first ingredient in the other ingredients is freaking tapioca syrup and then the second is organic sugar and the third is pectin i might have to stop taking this and find another one but there's this and the gummies aren't even like good this might be returned actually however this one is highly effective ironically very very effective this um i think was like 13 dollars or so um at cvs and it has 60 gummies inside and it's 10 milligrams and it absolutely works you take two so this is the one i'm using now uh i don't have any <clears throat> a dissolvable one right now on me but um or yeah because i finished all those and the dissolvable ones taste good mm. but um there's also this one where it's a slow release um melatonin uh where it's supposed to um the layers if you see here in the back it says like the outside layer gets you to sleep and then the inside layer quickly gets you to sleep and the inside layer keeps you asleep so this one ha i've used um but and it's effective i think it was this one that i took you got to be really careful about the time that you take in the dosing um of course they have the dosing on there for you but like if you're having trouble falling asleep and it's like three o'clock in the morning and you have to be up for six in the morning for work don't take it i've overslept before that was a fail um when i had to be at work with kids <laughs> okay biggest fear um but i mean it happened and i'm no longer there anymore not because i got fired but because i left so um so yeah i've also used this one is not this one I've used these liquid sleep aids, which is like the NyQuil. This one is from um, CVS also. Um, this one was given to me 
um, and it's spilled so I'm not sure how safe it is for me to use this but um, this medication apparently it's non habit forming but I find that to be such an interesting term um, but I struggle with sleep it's still a struggle I don't know what it's going to take and that affects like weight gain and weight loss because if your body cannot reset how the hell are you supposed to lose weight and be well right so I feel like I'm on such a, a, a in like a bad cycle of like not sleeping and then weight gain and then being tired and cranky and fine like get eating something that's probably not the best but then eating something that's good and then but still being tired but then like it's just <laughs> the struggle and it all comes from or I'm finding one of the sources being poor sleep hygiene so I think that's something I'm going to maybe I should do a challenge for myself um, the irony um, but let me know do y'all struggle with sleep after cancer like I do cause I'm uh, the struggle is too freaking real okay so thumbs up if you struggle even if it's like insomnia that's not cancer related what are the things that keep you up at night that's a good question what are the things that keep you up at night let me know down below and let's also figure out some solutions what are we going to do to fix this guys should we do a challenge should we what what should we do to improve our sleep because i think improving our sleep improves our lives so let's get on it all right bull fans <laughs> oh, here's well, acorns and raccoons. Oh yeah, yeah, and I'm officially missing you. Lies, I'm good, boo boo. <laughs>